Were games just less forgiving back in the day? 1989's Super Mario Land for the Game Boy only has 12 levels, and the game can theoretically be completed in about an hour. Seems easy, but here's the catch. If you run out of lives and get a game over, you have to completely start again. There's no checkpoints at all. There's also no saving your progress either, so the only way to beat this game is to do a successful, complete run in a single sitting. It's a test of skill and endurance where, believe it or not, Mario is your greatest enemy. You see, the reason I wanted to play this game was to see how Nintendo handled bringing the Mario experience to a handheld for the very first time. And all things considered, they did a great job, but controlling this 12 pixel tall plumber is way more difficult than you might expect. This is not the type platforming you typically associate with a Mario game. You'll have to adjust your muscle memory, and it takes dedication, but sticking it out and completing a full run of this historic handheld game is super rewarding, even almost 35 years later.